Welcome back to another Prime Slider tutorial. Today we're exploring the WooCommerce widget by Prime Slider, a powerful solution for showcasing your products in a sleek, customizable slider layout using Elementor. Whether you're building an online store, a landing page, or a promotional section, this widget helps you easily highlight best sellers, new arrivals, or sale items. It's designed to boost engagement and drive sales with dynamic visuals and a seamless shopping experience. Ready to see it in action? Let's dive in. To get started with the WooCommerce widget, begin by typing WooCommerce into the search bar on the left-hand side of your Elementor editor. Once the widget appears, simply drag and drop it into your design area. After placing the widget, you'll immediately see its default layout, which gives you a clear preview of how it looks before any customization is applied. Within the Content tab, the first section you'll encounter is the Layout. Here, you have control over the slider's aspect ratio by adjusting the width and height. You can also enable responsive height to ensure your design adapts beautifully across all screen sizes. Once that's turned on, you can manually set the height and width of the image, choose the image resolution, and fine-tune the background image settings to match your design vision. Moving further, you'll notice a series of toggle switches that let you show or hide various elements of the widget. These include the title, category, text content, price, add to cart button, social media icons, scroll button, navigation arrows, and pagination. Just below that, you'll find the alignment settings, giving you full control to position elements exactly how you want. The next section is labeled Query, where you can choose the source type for your products. Options include using standard WooCommerce products, manual selections, current queries, or related items. You'll also have the option to set a product limit. Within this section are two helpful subtabs, Include and Exclude. The Include option lets you handpick specific products to display in the slider, overriding other filters to highlight select items, perfect for promotions or featured content. In contrast, the Exclude option allows you to remove particular products from the slider, even if they match the general filters. This is especially useful for hiding out-of-stock items, test products, or anything you'd prefer not to display. In the Social Links section, you can add popular platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. More can be added as needed. When you open any social option, you'll see fields to add a title and a link. Clicking the settings icon next to the link will reveal more customization options. You can tailor each social media item's appearance and behavior according to your brand style. The scroll down section allows you to create a smooth scrolling effect when the user clicks the scroll button. Here, you can set the scroll duration, which defines how long the scroll effect lasts, and the offset, which adjusts where the scroll ends to your target section. You can also change the scroll button's text and define a specific section ID, which determines which part of the page the scroll button will link to. Under slider settings, you have several useful features to enhance the user experience. You can enable or disable autoplay and set the time interval for slide transitions. The pause on hover option lets the slider stop when the user hovers over it, which can be great for readability. You can also set the animation speed and decide whether the slider should loop continuously. Beyond these basics, there are additional sections like advanced animation and reveal effects, offering even more room for creative control. These can be customized freely depending on the visual tone you want to set. Once you've configured the content settings, it's time to head over to the Style tab for more visual adjustments. Starting with the wrapper section, you can choose an overlay type and set the overlay color to enhance the visual mood of your slider. You can also adjust padding and margin settings for the content area to get the spacing just right. If needed, the maximum width of the content can be tailored here as well. In the title section, you're able to set the width of the title text and choose a color that fits your design. The typography controls give you access to everything from font, family, and size to weight, style, transformation, and decoration. 
You can also refine line height, letter spacing, and word spacing to perfect the look and feel of your titles. Additional options like text stroke and title spacing are available at the bottom of the section to add even more polish. Moving on to the category section, you'll notice it's divided into two sub-tabs, Normal and Hover. In the Normal tab, you can adjust both the category text color and background color to match your design. You'll also have the flexibility to define the border style, including its width and color. Additionally, there are options to fine-tune the border radius and apply the desired padding. Further down, you'll find settings for typography and spacing, allowing you to tailor the appearance to suit your style. Next is the text section. Here you can choose a text color that fits your overall design. You'll also find a full range of typography settings, including options for font family, size, weight, transformation, style, decoration, line height, letter spacing, and word spacing. Just below, there are settings for adjusting the width and excerpt spacing, giving you more control over the layout and readability. In the Price section, you'll find two sub-tabs labeled Regular and Sale. Within the Regular tab, you can customize the color of the regular price text and adjust the margin spacing around it. Typography controls are available here as well, so you can style the price text exactly how you want. Switching over to the Sale tab, you can select a specific color for sale pricing and set the margin spacing. Typography and spacing settings are also available here, letting you maintain visual consistency while emphasizing discounts. The Add to Cart section is also split into Normal and Hover states. In the Normal view, you have full control over the button's text color and background color. You can also define the border's style, width, and color, along with customizing the border radius and padding to achieve the desired button shape. Further customization includes shadow effects and detailed typography options to ensure the button aligns with your store's design language. When you navigate to the Hover tab, you'll be able to modify the Hover text color, background color, and border color. These changes help provide visual feedback when users interact with the button, enhancing the shopping experience. Next is the Quantity section. Here you can change the quantity field's text and background colors. You'll have full access to adjust border styling, including width and color, as well as define the border radius and padding. Additional options include box shadow and typography settings, all designed to give you precise control over the field's appearance. In the Social Link section, you'll again find Normal and Hover sub-tabs. The Normal tab allows you to set the link color and background, choose a border type, and refine the border radius and padding. You can also adjust the space between each icon, apply shadows, and configure typography settings. A unique feature here is the Offset option, which lets you reposition the social icons to fit your layout more precisely. Within the Hover tab, you can modify the hover color and background color for the social links. These customizations help provide smooth interaction feedback when visitors engage with your social icons. Now let's talk about the Scroll Down section. Just like previous sections, it includes Normal and Hover tabs, in the Normal tab, you can define the button color and customize its typography. You'll also find an offset option that lets you position the button exactly where you want it. In the Hover tab, the available setting allows you to change the hover color for an interactive effect. Finally, we arrive at the Navigation section, which is also split into Normal and Hover sub-tabs. In the Normal tab, you can change the color and background color of the navigation arrows. You'll also be able to define the border style and radius, 
adjust padding, and configure both the arrow size and its offset position. Switching to the Hover sub-tab, you can set a different color for the arrows when hovered, along with customizing the background and border color for the hover state. Back in the Normal tab, toward the bottom, you'll find a dedicated set of controls for pagination. Here, you can define the pagination color, highlight the active color, adjust typography, control spacing between items, and apply offset positioning to align the navigation elements just right. And that's it! Once you've customized your product display and finalized the design, just hit the Save button and preview your work. That's how the WooCommerce widget by Prime Slider makes it easy to create dynamic, eye-catching product showcases. With sleek animations, responsive controls, and a variety of layout options, you can present your products in a way that captures attention and elevates your store's design and user experience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow designers, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. See you in the next video.